I am Katherine Avery from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and I am presenting a poster on the effect of alter ego accounts on A-B tests and social networks. So what are alter egos? Alter egos are multiple active accounts maintained by one user. Alter egos can affect the results of A-B testing because users' alter egos can influence each other for some susceptible kinds of A-B tests. For example, for a single user, one alter ego account may be assigned to treatment, such as account U right here, while another is assigned to control, like account U prime right here. And those two accounts can affect each other even though they are not connected in the social graph. And if you're in a network setting, pure effects can magnify the bias. In this example, we can see that U prime is receiving treatment from its alter ego and is affecting its neighbors, these light blue nodes. For example, suppose a user named Alice has two accounts, one in treatment and one in control. Alice is an experiment that examines the effect of tooltips on how often users use new features. Alice learns about the new feature from a tooltip in her treated account and proceeds to use the new feature in both her accounts. Therefore, treatment has spilled over from Alice's treated account to her control account. A-B tests are ubiquitous. As of 2015, LinkedIn ran over 400 tests per day. And depending on the platform, alter egos can be very common. As of 2015, Gmail users had an average of 1.7 Google accounts. Further, you can't always use cookies to link accounts together since users want to maintain privacy. Therefore, we seek to estimate the bias based on limited information, including the parameters of the A-B test and the estimated number of alter egos in the network. We simulate A-B tests on different kinds of networks and measure bias in the average treatment effect. We also show how to calculate the bias analytically. And if we look at a sample of the results, we can see that in the worst case and the expected case, we get a moderate amount of bias. And we can see that the kind of network affects the worst case bias that you can get. So if you want to learn more about what kinds of A-B tests are susceptible to alter ego bias, or how you might mitigate or calculate the bias, come by the poster session or check out the paper.